All right, so I'm just going to do a very quick one today on putting the ties together. Um, this is a basic skill which is just good to know. It's a similar way that you do a lot of headbands, straps and things like that. So that's why I've just kept it as a separate video, even though attaching them will happen when we construct the bodice sorry when we attach the bodice to the skirt so you will have depending on the option that you went with you'll have multiple cuts here so because i am doing the back ties where it attaches to the side and just pulls around the back i have four short pieces which is two mirrored full tie is constructed in the same way but we'll go around the front of the bodice so that part of it is slightly different so what we want to do is we want to stitch along the long length down the diagonal length and then along the next long length we want to do that with a 12 mil seam allowance leaving the straight short edge clear Make sure your seam allowance is pretty spot on because it's important for the uh, top stitching when you come to top stitch it so that it has a really nice finish. So I'm just gonna go and do both sides of these really quickly. As I said, this is gonna be a super quick video. All right, so I just wanted to touch on a couple of things that I hadn't touched on yet. One is you'll probably notice I don't often use pins and clips when I'm doing long straight lines. I've been sewing for a really long time and I don't feel like perfection is what I'm aiming for. So sometimes I just save that time. But if you feel like you need pins or clips or if you feel more comfortable doing so, by all means, use 100 if you want. Uh, I'm just being a little bit lazy and probably a little bit overconfident. So now you're just going to trim off your corners only. You want to get close, but you don't want to cut your stitching that you have just done. Now we're going to turn this inside out. Just gonna trim off this fray, fray bit so we don't fray it even more. We're gonna turn them inside out. If you have something like a chopstick or a bodkin or something like that to help you, by all means do that. I am gonna do this manually and then just use my chopstick to point out to the end. So this is the point where you get your chopstick, you want to push it to the end and push out your corners. Don't push so hard that you're pushing your corner out of the stitching and you're breaking your stitching, but you want to push it as far out as you can to get a nice sharp corner. Another method for turning is you can turn your closed edge in and then just use your chopstick and pull, making sure that you push your corners out like we just did and pull your bottom like that. So it just depends on personal preference. I'm going to go press these now. So now these are pressed. We want to top stitch the edge of it really close to the edge of just the open edges. You don't want to top stitch this open edge here. So just your closed edges. There we go. So we have two beautiful ties here. So I will see you back here tomorrow.